So making it big with TikTok. And I believe in you, so you should believe in yourself. We're going to go through this step by step in how I gain success inside of TikTok shop and inside of TikTok period with two accounts, not just one. So I am looking forward to showing y'all some of the tics, tips and tricks that I have been able to succeed in both accounts. So stick around. Let's go. Okay, great. You stuck around. Let's do a breakdown. So starting with the first one, July 20, 26, 2023. This is my business account. Now, the difference between the business account and your personal account is the business one, you can't get the content creator beta fund from having a business, but you can have you a TikTok shop. And um, it gives you the perks of sometimes getting deals with campaigns and it's got it's got its perks to it. Um, now you have Life with Gina Lee, which is my personal account. The personal account gives me the advantage of using commercial music and without getting flagged. And one of the things that you have to stop doing once you hit 10,000 followers is stop doing duets with other accounts because you will get penalized with it as far as the creator fund. They will not allow you to be able to use someone original content and then you do edit they will flag you on it and you will not get any money from it so always watch out for those type of things um i say if you are below the ten thousand threshold with followers you want to do at people just to get traction on your account but once you get up to 10,000 followers, stop doing duets, stop doing stitches because you will not get credited from it and you will get penalized. So we're going to take my account with Best Western Boot CEO. I have high numbers with views and I think with me, um, with the catchy saying, as far as me being a first black woman boot CEO, it kind of took off like wildfire. And I suggest whatever you're going to post, um, think of it in a way, would it catch your attention by what you're putting on the screen? And words on the screen, to me, gain more traction for me than anything else. By just posting a video and not having any words on it, um, it's rare that I had high traction on it. I can tell the ones that had words had more traction than the ones without words so you always want to look at that now i use it sometimes piggyback on content as far as view, um, videos that i use some of them i would take snippet out of one and bring it over to the other one and just add more to it i mean you don't have to reinvent the wheel you just have to add to it so i would say i always look at ways to repurpose refurbish your um content and be able to use it again just take little snips of it take the as i was always told um take the meat and leave the bones so it can always use to be used to your advantage if you're able to reuse those items again those videos again just chop them up and reuse them for another content and also you want to look at trending sound trending sounds will get you um notice quicker and that's what we're going to get to next how did i grow so how did i grow it was based up on my video ideas my captions my hashtags and sharing the love video ideas when you're making your videos think of it as i want to make money off of it so what is going to be catchy in those videos and when you're doing those different songs in the videos try to time them 
when you're pointing out something in that video and give you an example um i do a lot of trail ride songs to my boots so i'm gonna tailor it tailor my video to the sound so I always think about when you're doing those videos and you're finding a sound make sure it has a a connection with what the video is portraying captions um i'm big on writing things out on the screen because the algorithm will pick your video and label your video by the words that you put on the screen and in your caption so always remember that hashtags hashtags you want to do at least six um with the who what when and where so if you're giving um people an idea of what your video is about make sure your hashtag relates to what you're what they're going to be seeing in that video share the love you want to always give back to the people that like share and repost your stuff repost their stuff like um up on um, their picture right up under there give them some type of comment like i say i like that girl keep going you know things like that give other people encouragement because they're gonna return that back to you and somebody's gonna see that and they gonna want to go see who are they that they are writing up under that person thing so always remember that to share the love so we're gonna go to the next one turn it into money you want to turn it into money because everything that you post you want to look at it as a business standpoint that once you get to that ten thousand uh, mark with followers you're collecting money off of views so you want to for one make sure you're doing at least one minute for every video and make sure you catching the audience attention because as long as it's five seconds or more they start giving you money off of your videos so you got to make sure that um if you're trying to get your audience to um to help you get that money make sure it's a minute long and that you at least getting their attention five seconds but that's only until you get to 10 k to get the content creator fund so help you get to that we're gonna we're gonna look at my profile setup so you have best western boot cl so i'm just trying to grasp the attention to people that want to buy i want them to buy out of my tiktok shop i have boots inside the tiktok shop that's another um stream of income the tiktok tiktok shop you can get money from selling your merchandise there and you only have to have a thousand followers to have a tiktok shop so you won't be able to use commercial music but you can find music where people have remixed it and it won't be commercial music and you can use that to help boost your followers and your um traction with your videos so you got life with gina lee that's my personal one i can use all type of commercial music for it you want to make your profile short catchy and an email is a must when you have your personal one see i don't have that in my business one because i have it in my personal ones because that's where i do all of my product reviews is on my personal account because i can use commercial music i don't get a flag for that but i always make sure try to make sure they are one minute long so that i can be able to get that um view content creator um money from off of my views so we're gonna go to the the packages how do you get free packages so um if you're at ten thousand no let me restate that five thousand followers will get you to be able to request samples you can request samples with 5,000 followers um and you're able to add those links into your 
videos so that you can get commission off of anybody that goes on the on your link and buy inside the TikTok shop. So that is a big perk. So you want your first milestone get to a thousand if you want to do the TikTok um shop. Then five thousand mark will let you get free samples, and they are often send fifty dollar um samples that you can use at fifty dollars toward anything in that um product marketplace so that you can be able to test out them products use it as commission and get you some money off of it so and then you get to the ten thousand that's when you get the content creator fund so we're gonna go oh go over to how many followers like i stated tiktok samples you add 5k Pay for views, you want to be at 10K. And then the email collaboration. Okay. So because you can't tack on that link unless you add 5,000, that you will have to make an agreement with the vendor if they want to collaborate with you. Because you can't add that to your your video unless you're at 5,000 followers. So if you do email collaboration and you're under the 5,000, you need to work out a contract with that vendor of how you will be getting paid for it because you won't be getting that commission through TikTok. And to me, that's the safest way to get your money is through the um, TikTok uh, collaboration. So I thank you guys for watching. I really have appreciated you taking out your time. If you have any other questions or even comment down below part two, and I'll be willing to elaborate on any questions that you put in the comment section. So thank you guys and have a wonderful day.